Ah, if you look closely, you will see a haggard Sarah Basker waking up at 9:45 a.m. this morning. She slept in for the fourth time this week. Not surprising. My God, it seems as though she did not get her beauty sleep last night. Hey, Sarah, don't you have that important Joy Chella performance this evening? Ah, yes, unprepared yet again. The dentist said she was on the verge of three cavities. Perhaps a whitening strip will conceal those coffee stains. How clueless! Does she actually assume raccoon chic is in style? My God! Look at all of the blackheads on that sniffer. New record today. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to shave that moustache. Sarah spent three hundred eighty-five dollars and sixty cents this month on hip new online streetwear. However, she will continue to wear the same garb from high school that she was never able to let go of. Ah, yes, the red Walmart sweatshirt. I like this sweatshirt. This color reminds me of that massive boil on your lower back. Can you just let me have one thing? Sarah should be skipping with glee into her office to practice her song for the Joy Chella performance. Instead, she decides to increase her screen time with some mindless TikTok scrolling. Oh, would you look who it is? The beloved English beefcake Harry Styles on her For You page. Wait. She forgot her morning prayer to Harry. Maybe he'll give her a reason to perform. That's it. Sure, whatever helps you sleep at night. Wow, she genuinely believes she has a chance with a mega hottie superstar. That's very cute, Sarah. But what you're not realizing that he is in love with award-winning, critically acclaimed actress and director Olivia Wilde, and not you, sister. Did I mention Olivia has a passion for literature? I read literature. Oh. One hour later. Three hours later. Time to cancel your plans. She is very worried about performing tonight, isn't she? Self-conscious much? Wow, Sarah, no progress made at all. Okay, everyone, this is the moment we've been waiting for for two days. Sarah Baska has something for you, a very special gift to give you right now. I, I don't have. I don't what song are you singing, Sarah? Do you even care? Maybe this is a sign to give up music. She is quite terrible and is indeed terrifying. Hang on, is that your new podcast name? Bloody hell! What makes you think you can even sing? Just give up already. I am only trying to protect you. Stay with me, Sarah. Look into my eyes. We are so excited to hear you and to see your growth and your journey. We are so excited to support you right now, and you got this. You got this. So, are you gonna do it? Yeah, I got a song. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy, make me believe it. Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it. See you in my eyes, see you in my eyes, see you in my eyes. Sarah, how did it feel? 
I did that. And it was good. Life-changing. Belonging. Transformational. Powerful. It was so good. Sarah Baskin, I want to help you get back into action. A very intimate, powerful journey that every single person is on the ride for and it impacts every single person individually so different but as a collective you just feel this collective healing I think. When I first heard about this event, I had had a conversation with my dad that day about why I don't sing more, why I don't post more videos of myself singing, why I don't put myself out there more. And I couldn't explain it to him. And then I saw um, Sarah's announcement on her YouTube channel and I was like, oh no, this is exactly what I need right now. And she starts talking about like, do you want to get rid of perfection paralysis, social anxiety, intrusive thoughts? And I'm like, check, check, check. Let's go, sign me up. My favorite YouTuber, all of the things I want to work on, it was like made to be. As soon as I saw the announcement for Joycella, I knew I had to be a part of it. It sounded just right up my alley, me being an artist and just everything about it sounded like something that I just needed to do. I had like some anxieties cause I wasn't sure, you know, what it was gonna be like. Um, but as soon as I joined, it was like the most amazing atmosphere. We were able to hear a little bit of Sarah Baska's story and you know, I was able to really connect with somebody who I've admired for so long. Before Joycella, I was really afraid to take the leap and kind of step into my own light, to be my raw vulnerable self, to show my quirks to the world. I had a lot of social anxiety. Something about that weekend just opened me up. The courage that everybody else was showing really motivated and inspired me to be courageous in my own self. I've been living in fear for so long and I think that's the biggest thing that's held me back in my life and held me back from finding my own voice and sense of confidence and ultimately that's what's keeping me from, from finding this direction in life that I've been looking for. And so, and so I went to Joycella and I don't know why it was so surprising to me but but a sweet surprise how supportive and positive and inviting and loving everyone at the event was. It was over Zoom, so how, how am I supposed to feel all these things and everything's digital, but the energy that everyone brought to the event was just so heartwarming and wholesome and it made me feel more alive than I have felt in a really long, really long time. The experience just completely blew me out of the water. Like, I didn't know what to expect. The pandemic was really isolating for me. And, you know, it helps me find a community of like-minded people. Like, that's all I've been wanting. Everything Joy was helping me with, the questions she asked really helped me dig deep and find what I wanted from this experience. And sh the way she just listened to me talk about everything I was explaining, the way she listened to my goals, my fears, everything, and kind of reiterated it to me and helped me through it, I was in. I found Joycella at the most amazing time that I could have. So I signed up, I was nervous, but excited at the same time and then immediately when I logged on to Zoom I saw everybody in their little square and it was almost like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. I instantly felt just this wave of support and love. It felt so fun and freeing to take control of my emotions like that. I am on cloud nine still and it's been two months y'all. Come to Joycella too. Push yourself. It's uncomfortable but growth does not happen in your comfort zone, baby. 10 out of 10, 100%.
would recommend to a friend. I've always imagined I couldn't have this feeling inside of me, this fire. Joy Cella, the mastermind program, this community surrounding you, they all help you find your fire inside. And that is worth it, you guys. That is so worth all of it. And I can't wait for you to experience all of this because it is life-changing. It really is, you guys. And I'm excited for you to be here with us. I'm so excited for more people to experience her joy because she has just brighten my soul up. Joy, thank you so much. You've given me this new purpose in my life. You have brought back that love for life in me and I'm just forever grateful for that. Everybody who attended, like we're all looking for the same thing. We're all looking for that connection, that kindness. We all want to express ourselves. We want to flow. We want to be positive and everybody there and captured that and it was really amazing to be a part of if you're thinking about going you should just do it starting me on this journey where there's just there's no going back for me it's forward i would 100 percent say just go for it it's so worth it like that was the best best decision i've ever made in my entire life it's just gonna help so many more people and i can't wait for joy cella too and seeing everybody's new faces i'm so excited everyone that came into that space was so instantly relaxed by the atmosphere they heard the music they got their bodies moving they got to see all these other smiling faces in the little squares on the zoom call and it didn't take hours or days. It took moments for them to just stop being afraid and to just participate. It was miraculous. One of the best weekends of my entire life. That what I helped put together with Joy was like actually making change in these people's lives. It was just a completely different experience and it was almost like this is what I was meant to do. Like this is what I want to do. You're waiting on the sidelines of your life instead of getting in the game of life and playing. You're all out there hiding when you could all be out there loving each other, loving yourselves and changing the world. That's what we want to do with Joy Cello.